Welcome back to Rags to Riches Cottage Living Early Access. Thanks again so much to EA Game Changers for making this whole early access let's play possible. Now let's get into the episode. So last time we didn't make too many big visual changes to our lot. We do have all the new crops around the side here. We have a fox that keeps running in and outside of my door. We got a couple of windows and speaking of door, we got a whole side door. That's pretty exciting. We also got a new bed, which is better. And we also, you know, moved the inside a little bit. We've got a chest filled with junk. This is literally stuff I can't really sell until we get the selling table with the other packs and all that. Um, and then we have a little bathroom too. So things are coming together. Now today, we should maybe have a look at some more of the stuff in the Aspiration because we can actually craft animal treats, which we do by using, I believe, the fridge, right? Yeah, create animal treat. And um, we can see what we need, at least for the ones that we've discovered. Or maybe this is all of them. I don't know. This might be the ones we discovered. But for example, the golden treat, we could do that. We just need a golden egg and cow berry jam or honey. So I'm gonna guess we need a cow plant to get a cow berry. Wait, how do you get a cow berry though from a cow plant? I know you can get it from fishing. Huh, I don't know. <laughs> how do you get a cow berry? Or can you just buy it from the rare seed packets? Surely this is a way to get it. Oh, don't you get it from like grafting and stuff? Yeah, there's some way to do it. I don't know, I don't have to look that up. Um, this we just need any pumpkin for example, so we can sort of make some of these and get some friendly treats So that's something we should have a look at. I would also like to I like I do want to get the second uh, Cow or animal shed today and get a let me shoo this fox away as well by the way get out of here I can't tell it to leave. I'll go watch them um, Yeah, I do want to get a second animal shed and we'll get a llama. Uh, that's that's today's primary Directive. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that <laughs> That was a weird thing to say. Fertilized crop Minor growth fertilizer. Give me those big aubergines. Ooh, something can be evolved over here. Heck yeah, sweet. How are all these going over here as well, by the way? Looking pretty good. Okay, and then, whoops, I moved way too far away. The chicken coop. Let me go clean that out before going to bed because we'll hit up we'll hit up the bed soon. I'll collect some eggs as well. Okay, you just decided to dump that there, which is interesting. I got five eggs already. Oh, golden egg. Heck yeah. Check them in the fridge. Check the eggs in the fridge. Does this need to be cleaned? Oh, refill feed. We definitely need to do that. And I don't know. Don't call a cow. Sorry. I thought that said clean. Uh, cleaning, it's fine. It's not dirty at all. All right. So now that we've done the last little bit of maintenance, let's go sleep for the night. Ah, oh, the night mushrooms. Oh, this creepy dude's at my door again. Leave me alone. I also, you know what? I really want to get stairs because I feel like the ladder is super slow. <laughs> I think stairs might be good. Oh, this can be evolved as well. Sweet. These are all evolving now. This is great. So that means the produce from each of these is, well, not each of them. Well, the ones that are actually evolved will be worth more. It's pretty good. It does. Oh, you can see the little rabbit sleeping in there because they get the little uh, sleeping Z's. <laughs> um, it means that, yeah, also the produce because it'll be worth more money. We can use it as fertilizer and other stuff and it'll work better. All right, you can get up now. Let's go feed the chickens. Hey guys. Now I'll collect the rest of the eggs for the morning. There we go. Plenty of feed. Look at this. Look at all these chickens. Look at these two golden chickens that we got. So good. Oh my gosh, we got two more golden chicken eggs. Oh, we're going to be, we're going to have no trouble. Absolutely no trouble getting a second shed out of here. I'm just going to clean the cow, make sure the cow's all good. I'm also going to say, oh, actually the other thing I wanted to look at was the, uh, the festival. We got one today. <gasps> the cow fair. Cow competition. Make sure your cow is in the mood to win. Come compete in the cow competition and the milk competition. Bring your best tasting milk. <gasps> Hang on. You know what I need to do before I milk, milk the cow? At least we might not necessarily win, but how do we specialize? <gasps> yes, hip spotted cow. So we can, I want to get the enhanced oh, milk. Yeah, it. take the money. We're going to win this cow fair, especially in this awesome outfit. Yeah. So now it should be en enriched milk. And now if I milk my spotted cow. Okay, what else can we do at the fair? Purchase unique items, very nice, and win ribbons. We're definitely going to be going along to that today. Heck yes, we are. Oh, my aubergines. Look at them grow. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have some enriched milk. One enriched milk and I guess six regular milk, which is fine. Because we only need the one. Not that. Well, hang on a second. These other milks are worth more. They're worth 22 and this one's only worth 20. <laughs> oh, the quality of this is excellent. You know, it might actually be better to use the, the excellent quality milk than the normal. Anyway, I'll put that all in the fridge. I'll take it with me when we go. All right, so hopefully you be in a good mood for later um, because we're going to need you. I'm going to go to the toilet now. I'm going to get some leftovers as well. Now, can I fertilize any of these plants? I have no fertilizer. I was thinking if I harvest the pomegranates, because actually, you know what? No, no, no. Harvest the, uh, where are the birds of paradise? It is this one. Because these are worth a lot. They're like 50 per 
pet produce. So if we grab those and use those to fertilize all these plants, whoops, don't research. That will be even better. So birds of paradise, fertilize birds of paradise. It should hopefully take it to the next level. Yeah, there you go, evolve. Oh, what? Where'd my tree go? What the heck? What the heck was that? It just killed my tree. Was it because it's too close to that or something? What happened? Why did it kill my pomegranate tree? What the heck? Golden pulse, hello. Yes, please. What does that do? Oh my gosh. That is so creepy. Why is he looking? <laughs> that is, what is happening? I'm gonna guess that it grows this tree maybe back to what it was. Uh, oh, <laughs> what is it doing? What did that do? Quality perfect. Oh my gosh. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up a second. I can just golden pulse my plants and make them perfect. Is that what that did? <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is actually incredible. How did I not see this before? Oh my gosh, we can make these all perfect. Dude, use your golden powers for good. Your creepy golden powers. Wait, can I golden pulse these? No, I can't, fair enough. But now these are all perfect. Oh my gosh, that's an incredible power. <laughs> Whoa, go golden pulse, quick, well, so how long do we have left? 25 minutes, quick, quick while, you, while, it's still, while it's still there. Golden pulse it, golden pulse it. Okay, it's gone now, I've missed the last two, but. These are now all fully evolved. That is actually kind of wild. All right, well, let's water everything. Oh my gosh, that is that is a really good benefit. All right, let's go water those over there as well. Let, the big lettuce is coming along nicely. Fertilizer, minor growth fertilizer. I feel like I'm like, why are my plants dying? Like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, you know what? Is it? Is it you? Is it the the foxes? Like, I actually don't know. Is that what's happening? Kind of, I'm kind of, hang on, get out, get out of here. Are the rabbits, are they eating it? But we had a whole tree. Surely that wouldn't be destroyed by that. I don't know. I'm really not sure, to be honest. Anyway, if we harvest everything, because I don't think these should all just be normal um, produce. Like, this rabbit's digging here. Like, is that bad or, th th so these should all just be regular, right? Yeah, normal. So the next produce we get should all be pretty, Amazing from all these anyway. How are you guys going? Let me uh, clean the coop. There you go. And clean the shed over here as well. Uh, clean my spotted cow. Give you a, I don't have any treats. I should probably make treats. <laughs> and clean the cow, good. And then I'll feed you for the, oh, I'm a little stinky, that's all right. All right, fertilize this as well with vitality and also this one with vitality because I want both of these because these are currently our biggest. So we might as well try and get them even bigger. Fertilize that with minor growth. Ah, oh, the ferricide. Okay, well, before I go, I just need to have a really, let's go take a brisk shower because we need that. All right, actions we're going to put in my inventory. You know, just check the <laughs> check the cow in my pocket. It's fine. Oh, and I need to take all the milk and stuff with me too because I do need to actually go sell all this stuff and the golden eggs because I do need money. And I need to keep one of the milks with me for the, the competition. All right, come on, cow. Let's go. All righty. So first things first, uh, what is it? Is this, that's the milk competition? What? Oh my gosh, you put the cows in the whole thing. It's amazing. All right. Submit entry to there. I should probably give my cow a name instead of spotted cow. All right, cow, there you are, <laughs> easy. Name spotted cow, bluebell. No, this can be um, cowleen, kind of like Jolene, but cowleen. I don't know, anyway. Uh, and then I'm gonna submit an entry here, which I assume it's gonna let me choose. Yep, okay. Uh, normal, normal, excellent, excellent. Uh, sure, just one of those, whatever. Okay, there's my milk. <laughs> There's my, I mean, it's excellent quality. All right, then I'm gonna go sell the rest of my junk. I mean, my excellent product. Oh, you got, do you have a chocolate milk? What is that? Oh, strawberry milk. Dang, lucky. All right, so let's sell all my junk. I mean, quality produce. <laughs> my uh, quality organic produce from my organic natural farm. <laughs> junk, <laughs> oh, the junk. Oh, the golden eggs are so good. 221. All the produce like down here is still not worth much, but I think now that they're all perfect quality, I think the next harvest is gonna be really good. I remind you, this load, 1962. Now, actually, what are the special products that you're selling today? Buy a grocery item, what do you got for me? Special, obsidian milk, golden egg. Okay, well, we don't care about that. Golden honey milk, pure decadence. A touch of gold makes this milk precious commodity. Obsidian milk, the milk from a midnight treat sparks something dark and angry inside of Sam. Uh, I, I don't really wanna buy those. <laughs> like, why would I want that? What about you, what have you got? Are there any other cows around? I wanna see what the other competition or, or competition is. There is only two milks. Oh, I can donate to online charity, there you go. There's only two milk, that's so sad, there's only one cow. What does that mean I'm gonna win? Oh, wait, hang on, you might be dropping off a cow. I think they're dropping off a cow. Oh, you don't have an outfit though. Young adult, fine, clean, full, okay. Young adult, happy, clean, full, content. That's a better cow. And I've got an outfit on too. Cowleen is in, is, is, is gonna hoof in to win. All right, are we, are we buying here? 
What's happening? Yes, yes. I'd like to check out your specials. Oh, wait, you don't have any specials today? Oh, is it just the other stall? Okay. Well, let's see what you do have, because I, I might actually want to buy some stuff here. Um. Oh, the cowberry jam. So that's what we needed to make. What treat was it? Was it the golden treat? I might actually get that, because then we could get like golden milk, right? So how do you make cowberry jam? Well, if I buy it, I can probably find out. I'm going to get two of those. I think that's what I needed. And flirty treat, fruity treat, pumpkin treat, healthy treat. Animal party. There's no party like an animal party. Made from mushrooms and any berry, this treat will increase your livestock animal's social motive. Oh, that's not that cool. <laughs> we'll produce blue eggs in rich milk and blue wool. Meh. I want like chocolate milk and strawberry milk. Anyway, let's buy the cowberry jam. All right, how's this? Can I go greet this cow? I'm gonna view the entry and I'm gonna say, admire cow and I'm gonna socialize and uh, ask how cows make milk. Have you ever seen such rich milky milk? It's surely, it is surely the milkiest. Ew, that's gross, dude. What, what, you just walked up here to say that and then left? What the heck, dude? Wait, what is this cow? I want to see this cow. That cow looks like rainbow. Look, it's like a rainbow cow. It looks normal here. Very nice cow. Look how sweet it is. I bet it'll win for- What do you mean, it? That's so rude. It's not an it. Also, I don't know why it's got a sweet rainbow look, but we only see the normal cow. I'm gonna show you a dance move. I should probably be talking to my own cow. Hang on. I probably- Oh, no, I'm giving this cow happiness. Let me go talk to my cow. Milk- Let me milk Cowleen while I'm here, actually. Milking! Cowleen, Cowleen, oh, Cowleen. I don't know the words to the song, but I'm gonna milk you and smother you with love. Oh, what the heck, Cowleen? I was singing you a beautiful song. <laughs> what the heck? All right, can I can I feed you here? Or are you? I guess not. I mean, you're full anyway, so it's probably fine. Clean. I'll clean you. Make sure you're nice and ready for the competition. Let me let me try. I'll try milking again. Cause move over the other cows. I think we have a competitor right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Imran Watson. What the? You don't. You're just looking at your phone. You're not even looking at the cow. Have you seen my cow? My cow's in a hat. What the heck. Six bottles of milk. Dang. Thanks, Kathleen. What's that worth? They're excellent quality, and they're worth twenty-two. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna go sell those. I stock up on money while I'm here. Wait, what? Why is it worth less? What the heck? They're worth twenty-two. And now they're worth fifteen mug. What? This is the worst sale ever. They're like, oh, you're getting an extra two simoleons per bottle. But they're actually worth 22, so I got paid less money. Guys, come on. All right, who's here anyway? I should probably talk to some people. Hey, hey what's going on? I figured I should talk to other people that are here at the fair. What's up, Stefan? Uh, I'll give you a pep talk. I'll uh, brighten your day a little bit. You know, I feel like I should probably have some human friends. Because <laughs> I mean, all my friends are animals. Wait, let me have a look at my panel. Look, look how cool this cow looks in here. If that cow looked like that right now, I'll be so impressed. It, not, it has nothing on cowling. <laughs> so when are these competitions judged? 8.30? When does, this, when does this end? I always forget when these things end. Read about, let me read about the fair, hang on. Uh, it's 9.30. Man, these fairs get all, I feel like they should start earlier. I feel like it should be like a 7 a.m. fair, you know? Wait, I just got, did I just get given something? What did you give me? Oh, thanks, man. What was my favor? <gasps> oh, I finally got a lovely mushroom. We've been waiting for that since like episode one. Or maybe two, I don't know, but really early on. Okay, I have to, I could give it away, but I I, I have to plant it because we, in case we need more of them. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you. Can you be my Finchwick fair, fair lady or whatever it is? You can be my fair lady. I'll give you a, uh, oh, I don't really have much. Uh, uh <laughs> I'll give you a beige llama wool. That's pretty nice. No, 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 stop talking to the mayor. Give him the fair lady prize. No, 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 go talk. What, what are you doing? Come on, move. It's just sitting here. Come on. Go. I want you to be my fair maiden. Or whatever it's called. What is it called? Finchwick favor. I prefer the fair maiden favor. All right, fine. Screw you, dude. I'm not giving it to you. You're no longer my fair maiden. The mayor is now my fair maiden. Uh, yeah. Here you are, my fair lady. Or maiden. I don't know. Fair person. Sure, whatever. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, is this is this judging thing going to be done anytime soon? Because I got to get home. Like, I got I got stuff to do, guys. Okay, it's 9.30. Press the what? Festival ended in an hour? You said it ended at 9.30. What is happening? Did I win or not? <laughs> Let me go home. <laughs> I just want to go home. Hey, Simon. Wait, I've met you before. Why don't I know you anymore? Okay, I gave you a thumbs down. Cool. Okay, we're gonna sit over here now, right? <laughs> Can you hurry up and judge this competition? There's literally four entries overall. Did I win? <gasps> 275, what did I get? Fintrick Fair reward, one pound can treat, one participation milk competition ribbon. Oh, Fintrick Fair competition reward. The milk you entered just didn't shake the judge to be a winner. It was excellent quality. Sure, it wasn't strawberry milk, but it was excellent. Uh, one chocolatey treat and one second place. Second place? Your cow won second place. 
there was two cows. A cow is in, a, in an outfit. What the heck? This is rigged. This is actually rigged. I'm disgusted and I'm reporting you to the Fair Trade Commission. <laughs> okay. Um, let me name animal shed assign animal you. If I just do that, does that? Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right. Well, if all my chickens can go to sleep, I actually want to do a little bit of renovating outside tonight because I want to see if we can get a second animal shed in. I, I was, yeah, I really don't know what happened to all my plants out here. Kind of weird. All right, chickens are all asleep. All right, let's go to build mode. So what we're going to do is we'll pick up this. Oh, I guess I have move objects on. We can move up itself. I just don't want it to like glitch out or anything. Oh, apparently it can't go anywhere here. Inside the boundary of, um, excuse me, this is literally inside the boundary of the lot. Can't place outside the boundary of the lot. Okay, I think we have a bigger issue. <laughs> what? Okay, I can move that. Huh. Oh my gosh, all my chickens spilled out into my inventory. <laughs> is it because there was, I think it's because there was chickens inside. All right, it's fine. It works now. It works now anyway. Oh no, I've got all this produce in here. Oh, these at some point, it must have like glitched out and thought it went into my inventory. Because I think that's all these plants here. Actually, no, it's not. What's this? Blueberry. Okay, actually, no, that is. That's a chocoberry. There's no chocoberries in here though. You know what? No, I don't know. I have no idea what these are, why they're in here. I don't know why those died. <laughs> Maybe we just need to, let's just clean up the garden. How about that? Maybe, maybe that's a big problem that we're facing. I love all these. Wait, what did I just sell? Oh, I sold actually one of my plants. I love all of these uh, decorative, you know, debug things, but maybe we should clean up a little bit. Whoops, that's the bathroom. No, 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 put that back. I'm going to get rid of all this. It is very nice. We'll, we'll decorate up and we'll make it look good with actual th like things that we pay money for. But for now, let's just move all these things over here. Wait, so what do we have here? We've got raspberry, blueberry, Chocoberry, another raspberry, the raspberry there, blueberry here. I think there's two of each, right? Chocoberry. Oh, no, wait, blue, hang on. Blueberry, that's chocoberry. So those two chocoberry, this is blueberry, right? The blueberry, blueberry, raspberries, pomegranate tree, and then the birds of paradise. Okay, so I'm going to get some more of these, I think. So blueberries and that are going to go there and raspberries next to them, right? I, I think we'll have to reorganize this anyway fully. Then the chocoberries, I guess, can join these. And then maybe we could plant some more, I don't know, other things here as well. And the birds of paradise is just kind of like a flower. So they can I don't know, just go here and the tree can go here eventually. And then the frog can go here. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Okay. So now the other thing I want to do, we're going to move the apple tree and go over here and we're going to delete all these fences because we kind of need to just clear some space. Good thing is, again, fences we don't actually lose money on. Uh, they sell and buy for the same value. So we do not have to worry about that. Now, I want to move this tree because I think I need to. Actually, I might not need to. Hang on, let's see. Let's see. First of all, we'll have to do some terrain painting again, but that's all right. So bb.move objects. Let's just turn that off. So let's see. Can this actually go anywhere over here? It can go up this end. So, okay. So we can put it here somewhere. I think that bin's in the way, actually. I love this log. I don't want to get rid of it. You can't make me. <laughs> you can't make me get rid of that. I think it should it should be out of place somewhere here. I think this is actually in the way. Does that actually go in my inventory? Oh, it does. Cool. Put that over there. All right, let's try. Yeah, so this does... Oh, wait, now it doesn't. There's something here. Nothing to delete. Odd that it can go here, but for some reason not this way. Maybe it can fit over here then. It can fit there. See, I would like to put it here. I would really like to see if with move objects, these work next to each other like that. Otherwise, what I'm thinking is, let's just get rid of that tree. That's a debug tree. Let's get rid of these. Got all my mushrooms. Oh yes, I got to plant my um lovely mushroom or whatever it was. Let's get rid of that rock. Okay, so this cow... I'm gonna go this way. I think we, oh, whoops, might be able to fit two along the side here. Yes. And we could actually fit a fence around both of those, which is great. I'm gonna get a green one. Why not? So one there and then the fence. I'm gonna use this around the back. Now where's the front of this? It goes up to here. We can go all the way along here and I can join around here. All right, so this is a completely closed cow slash llama area. Now the chicken coop, uh, well, let's have a look. So I want to, let's reorganize these mushrooms as well. So spicy mushrooms. I don't think we need four nightly mushrooms. Let's just get rid of them. We only need one. One nightly, one of these, one of these, and then we're going to need the, um, the lovely one too. But for now, let's just plant one of each. I would love to have a hedge also along this fence, so I might leave space for that. We're going to go mushrooms and then I guess berries and whatever this is. Actually, I'll do mushrooms in this one as well. I'll move those to here. So we'll plant the lovely mushroom there somewhere and then then maybe, actually we'll keep going because we'll have the gate probably here in line with that door. So the gate can go, oh, I oh don't know. I guess it has to go here. I think because this, some of those tiles it doesn't like interacting with, but that, that's fine. We'll put it there and we can move that to there. And then we have loads of room for more plots, which is great. So we'll move, well, actually we'll leave those jumbo ones there. I'm going to move jumbo over here too, the jambalayas and this one. Oh, we have a bit more space. You know what? I'll move down here and then we'll have a double 
double wide in the middle there. I don't think I can put a gate there though, so that's fine. Uh, actually, you know what? No, what I'll do... Sorry, I'm still planning all this out. Move the... Whoops. Move the jambalayas here. No, this is not a jambalaya. This is a regular liar. Put that there. Again, leaving room... Oh, it doesn't say a leaving room for... Oh, hello? What is that intersecting with? There's nothing there. What the heck is going on? Is it flat? Maybe it's not. No, it is flat. What do you mean it can't go? There's nothing here. It's like these stairs, how they never wanted to go there. There's, there's like some weird invisible things on this lot. I don't know. But it can go there and go here, but it can't go here. Hmm. What the heck? This lot is like cursed. I don't know what's happening. Maybe that's why my plants like disappeared here. Well, anyway, what I was gonna do is I wanted to put the chicken coop down the end here. But if I can't put plants there, it seems like I can't. There's something hidden underground or... I don't know, there's nothing there. I don't want them to bug out is the thing. Like, I don't want it to delete all my plants. So that's why I'm not using move objects for it. Well, could I put the coop there or is that gonna be upset about it? See, like, it says it can go here. But oh, then it's like, not nah, can't intersect. It's bizarre. So that's like the cursed zone. Um... All right, so let's not go there then. Let's move these here then. Uh, and then, hmm, okay. So we can have all those there. Maybe I need to forget the idea of having a nice hedge here and then just sort of squeeze these in together. Oh, I can't even put it there. Can it go, could it go here? It can, okay. Yeah, so if I squeeze these all up against the fence, which is not ideal. I didn't want to have them this squished. But I think they can still access the ones at the back, can't they? Do they? I don't think they need all side access. Maybe there's like an animal there or something, but we just can't see it. Also, it seems like a place there, which is good. No, not there though. <laughs> Or that there? Okay, so I can Okay, so it has to go like that. So what's this? That's a pomegranate tree, which apparently can go here, but I'm a little skeptical of that now. An apple tree can also go there apparently, but again, I'm a little skeptical. Okay, so then we can have the little farm area. Do I want to like fence off the farm area or no? We do a little the hedge. Like I said, I did, want, I did want to have a hedge. Maybe we're just putting it in a different spot now. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So we can get through the cows that way and then we can do the chicken coop down here. That'll work. Uh, this tree is kind of like this little side bit here is kind of weird to have trees in it though. It looks like it should be a pathway more than anything else. So I'll put this here and then the chicken coop area. I think it would just be this whole section. Section. Like it's quite big. Oh, but deleted that window. Maybe not there then. Maybe like, what? How? Why is it deleting both windows now? Move objects is back on. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, so that whole area can be the chicken coop. We could even probably get a second coop in here and then have more chickens. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I can't afford it. Never mind. But yeah, we could do that. The gate there. And I will have a gate between these two. So if we're in here and need to go there, for example, we can easily, you know, move between them. And then a trash for cleaning out because we're going to clean out these. Um, I mean, have move objects off. So can I actually place a bin anywhere in here? I could actually go here or over this side so it could be worth having a bin here because that one can be cleaned here the coop can be cleaned to there uh and then maybe just move the other bin here really uh, can't fit there r really okay oh i know hang on we can't go there yeah like that i don't yeah this tree has got a hmm it's a little strange i mean i guess we could just go there i think it's fine also we still have that floating blueberry off our lot over there i think they're fine here because we can still access them it's a bit strange having them there uh, the other thing I might do is go back to having a flat lot here. Because that's this is how it originally was. It was actually stairs at the front. Uh, oh, uh, I guess not. I can't afford it. Okay, let's just leave that. <laughs> then the rabbit house. Sorry, the rabbit house. Let's just put it around the back. It's kind of inconvenient for the rabbits, but there's nowhere else to put them. So they're going back there. I suppose we could actually, we could cut off the chicken coop here and have like access around the back and have more plants there. But I think for now, we're going to do this layout. And then the chicken coop will have this again. And I'll, I'll obviously paint it a little bit nicer than that. So then we just do really nice dabbing of other colors. Not that one, because for some reason when you use this dirt, it kind of puts green. Like you can see the grass through it. But if I think it... Oh, wait, no. I think if I use yeah, some of the other ones, it kind of doesn't do that. It's interesting. There's some dirt here in the garden. Because we kind of need to repaint where the pathways were, because they don't make any sense anymore. I mean, that go through there. So obviously, we'd have a pathway here. I don't know. I, I love using like this as like a terrain path, you know, kind of thing. Even like walk through the chicken coop like that. A bit of dirt here and there. Now this fallen log. Go at the back of the house, I guess, because apparently I was keeping this, but um, not many places I can put it. So it's going to go there. Uh, now I'm going to get all my chickens out. So let's just put them here. There you go. Wait a second. If they're objects. Oh, I was thinking if you could scale them because you know how you can like scale stuff up. Wait, my scale isn't working. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Oh my gosh, wait a second. Can can you actually have, could I have a giant golden chicken? The Dr. Glorn giant chicken? <laughs> that's so cool. All right, I'll put it back to normal. I don't want to break anything. Maybe that's a video for another day though. I right, get my other golden chicken in and the other ones and this one. And then I got all this random produce in here. 
Which again, I'm going to do what I did before where I just sort of sold them all uh, from my inventory because we can't really get them out and sell them easily. Like we'd have to place 30 on the ground, I think. I don't, I don't think there's an easy way to move 30 of them to that, like to a chest or something. So I'm not sitting here dragging 30 of them or 80 <laughs> things to the ground and then selling them, you know? All right, we actually have a lot of money from that, which is great. Um, this So this looks pretty open now. Like it would be nice to have a tree. Uh, can we fit a tree on the side of the lot or something? Just, I don't know. Just I feel like there should be something over here. This seems a bit dull now because there's absolutely no greenery. Yeah. I mean, just, just something. I guess I can afford, um, like, can I fit? No, I can't actually put hedges there. I guess we could use the, this hedge fencing, but I wanted to re use real hedges, you know? All right, well, let's get like a couch and stuff, you know? We can have, live our lives. Get this couch, let me get some more windows as well. Oh yeah, I wanted to try out, uh, uh, now I would love to have read your comments, but again, we have to record all of these videos weeks before these even post. So I'm just gonna do, what if I do something like that? Is that is that too like church-like to have them like that? I don't know, I don't know that those windows really work, to be honest, I don't know if I like them. I'd love to just do big modern windows, but I also don't think that suits this place at all. So maybe we do use these. I think these windows were on the house originally, maybe even in the green, were they? I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe it wasn't green. We do the brown actually, because it kind of matches the other stuff up there. I get some of those windows here and then I can change these. Which I might use the smaller ones on this side. Oh, these windows are really nice. Because I think these will look okay because it's sort of, yeah, the, the wall over here is lower anyway. So I think this kind of works. I, say, I do look kind of like just the white. It's quite nice. I think it works from the inside quite well too. Now these have a smaller version which could actually go in the kitchen area here and like here. Oh. You know, here and here. Ooh, then we can get some little flower planters below the windows. Oh, hang on. You wouldn't be able to close the windows though because <laughs> they have shutters. So maybe a little lower, like down there. You kind of break the flowers a little bit, I think. Maybe we shouldn't have these outside these windows. Also, I don't know if there's like too many windows on that wall right there. Can I make the stairs, can I go, hang on. If I go this way, can I make the stairs go this way? Oh, I can, but that's nice. I can put the window, I mean the door there and then move the window here. Just so that fits sort of more nicely in the middle there now. And then I do want to do, can I afford that little boot room thing I wanted to do? Yeah, I can, I can afford that. And the kitchen fridge can go, you know, I don't know. Why are there plates everywhere? <laughs> Maybe on this wall here, we can get another counter. Well, I suppose we should probably actually line them up properly. Just the stove fits so nicely in the middle right now. Let's go in front of this window, actually. And we have the fridge on this wall, like by itself. Look at how big this kitchen is now. It's probably too big to be, oh, well, it's a pretty big, it, you know, it's a pretty big space to be fair. I think, yeah, the fridge could go on this wall. Although I feel like maybe the bathroom should be bigger because we, we just started off with a really small bathroom. Hang on. And I think I need to readjust these windows. We could use these ones. They're pretty small but they are made of stone. So I quite like the uh, sort of aesthetic going with this section. The sink in front of that window, stove in front of that window. Look at that, beautiful. And then maybe from the outside, if I recolor these, what does it look like if we get these? Oh, well, I can afford one. Is that silly? Maybe. But we can, oh, we can get flowers under these windows. Yeah. I don't know. I think a little uh, barn cottage conversion thing's coming along. Maybe we should use new windows here then too. Problem is uh, these windows, like I said, these windows aren't actually that big. Like, this is as big as it can get, but maybe that's okay. Maybe that's all we need. I can fit three along there, but does, that kind of looks silly, doesn't it? <laughs> I think three looks a little silly. I think this could probably be another room here, maybe. Um, oh, it could be like a little office nook. <gasps> you know what would be great there, which we don't have right now, is the cats and dogs uh, three tile arch, like across here. So we could have the wall, have a nice big arch and have like a little office there. That'd be nice, but maybe that's a plan for the future. Oh, I need stairs. All right, I'm definitely getting carried away with this renovation now that we have a bit of money. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a door. Hang on, move that here. But now the couch can go here somewhere. Maybe the red one's kind of cool. I do like the default color on this actually. It's quite it's quite nice. Uh, now the kitchen is actually all using default colors as well. I have not changed it. I do quite like the yellow, but I also do like the default. So I don't know, the default's very nice. There's a little rain shut up up top there. Like I can just imagine having a beautiful island bench here as well. This is the dining area here. Like it's, it's really good, a big living space. Now for stairs getting up, I'm wondering if it's better to put them further back, like not in the living space. Cause if I put them here, it's gonna cut off that section or we'd cut off this section, for example. Originally the stairs were sort of in the middle here. It was a cool design, but I think we can probably utilize the space a bit better if I move the stairs. Oh, I don't have enough money for it anyway. That's fine. But I think this change right now is already looking way, way better from what we had. I like this. Oh, you know what? Can I get, oh. Why are the dishwashers so expensive? In the one in Parenthood is like 150. <laughs> That's all right. We don't actually need a dishwasher. We have a sink anyway. It's fine. We do need a kitchen bin though. That'd be nice. This little barrel one. There you go. We now have an indoor bin. A little light in the kitchen. How much is this thing? 150. Oh, we could put it. Oh, you know. No, 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 no. Oh, 
500. We need a beautiful fireplace right there. Definitely. All right, this is looking great though. I love this. I love this. All right, how is everything going by the way? Because I, I kind of just moved everything. So apparently I can sell this crop already. So I think that's ready to go. And I think maybe these as well. Yeah, I guess all, all you... Let me go clean this coop. Hang on. Is that all the chickens are probably going to... Oh, that gate is glitching. There we go. Fix that. Make sure all the gates are working. So I'm going to unlock the gate locked off everyone but chaz lock for everyone but chaz lock for everyone but chaz oh this one's also glitched out love it <laughs> lock for everyone but chaz okay so now oh yeah look at these orb machines dang sell for 695 oh my gosh oh well, anyway it's so it's nice to have all the plants in this area now uh and then we also oh i need to plant the lovely mushroom too before i forget after all this renovating I'm doing, I nearly forgot to do that. Let's go plant it. And let's just say water all. The good thing is now the interaction for water all and harvest all should probably cover all of this because before everything was all over the place. Oh, I probably don't have enough to purchase a llama now, do I? 350. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we'll wait till tomorrow anyway. That's fine. Let's go to sleep. Oh, this is looking great. I love this. This is really coming along now. Like I think once we buy the bigger plot, which is up here. I think we'll just have to demolish that house. 133,000. So I think we're going to just demolish this because we're not going to buy this house and we're going to build our own farm. Look, as beautiful. I know there were some amazing game changes that built the lots in this world and no disrespect at all, of course, by all the lots that I'm changing. I just, you know, this is rags to riches. We got to, we got to make way and we got to get rid of it. So that is now gone. We're going to buy this lot here, which is how much is this lot? It's only 11,000. It's not actually that expensive. Um, but I, I, we're also not going to buy it too soon, but we, as you can see, we pretty much have already run out of like physical space outside, but I don't think we'll move until we have like a, a you know, a somewhat nice house going on in here. Like we'll actually fully renovate this, I think, and then we'll move. So there's no, there's no rush. We're not about to pick up and leave after just doing all this. All right, Chaz, I'm going to need you to get up and go feed all the chickens because I think they're, they're hungry. They're all out and about and ready for some feeding. All right, here's the feed, everybody. There you go. Come get your feed. Let's collect the eggs. Collect your eggs. Let's go uh, take a... Do we need a shower? Oh, kind of. Oh, yes. Look at our ribbons. Let's put them up. I feel like there, is there, there's surely a better place to display my ribbons. Right now, they're all there, though. Ah, oh, Kowleen. Aren't you beautiful? I need to clean the shed as well. Okay. Right, let's go get some uh, leftovers as well, which I'm going to guess is probably still the golden egg meal that we had. Oh, look at him. Sitting on the Ouch! Dude, he's, he's got so much money now. I'm just living the simple farmer life. Yeehaw! You know me, the farmer from Japan moved to the UK. Yeehaw! <laughs> I don't know what accent that is. I don't know. You know. He's very worldly, you know? Now, so this golden thing, can I do anything golden with these guys? I mean, I feel like I should be able to do more golden interactions, you know? I don't know. I'm gonna go feed Kowleen. Also, I'm gonna clean Kowleen and then milk Kowleen. There you go. There you go, Kowleen. And I gotta clean the cow shed too. And clean the coop and collect the eggs. There we go. Now, oh my gosh, look how dirty this garden is right now. Now, there was some stuff that I didn't get to perfect. So let me go golden pulse the lovely mushrooms. Use your evil golden power. I don't know, that's so creepy to me. I don't like it, but I'm definitely gonna golden pulse them. Uh, which other ones? I know I missed a couple. These are all perfect all down here. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Ah, oh, this one here. Golden pulse and I think maybe this one. Yeah. Golden Pulse. Those are perfect and the rest are good. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and just say weed all the plants. There you go. Lovely. Oh, I found a frog. Okay. I guess I should just harvest all crops, right? Because, I mean, if they're ready to go, they're ready to go, right? Harvest one perfect quality oversized crop. Dang. Oversized lettuce. What did I learn about it? Oh, geez. Okay, that's a big thing. Improved by... Yeah, so this tells you how to do all that kind of stuff. Okay, um, that's cool. Now, the fair... What's the next fair? Oversized crop fair. <gasps> well, how long? Ha hang on. I assume these spoil. It spoils in six days. Okay. Quality perfect. They're perfect. I'm going to guess if I put these in the fridge, or at least one of them in the fridge. We're definitely taking my big eggplant to the, to the fair. Uh... It's going to last for 17 days. There you go. 15.4 kilos. <laughs> that is big. And then I'll sell all the other stuff. We'll, and we'll, we'll plant more, of course. Um, all right, let's go harvest. Wait, how much are the birds of paradise, paradise worth now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is why we're not going to be making money from selling these because we can make that amount every day, which I'm sure we could do. But, you know, again, we're trying to make money from the new things. That's kind of just there for a bit of fun. And all the other crops we're going to use for eating and all that kind of stuff. Like we could use those for fertilizing the plants maybe or... Or for gifting as well, but we're not going to use it for selling. Only the big crops we're going to be doing that with. So let's go ahead and purchase 
some oversized crop seeds. Again, just one of each for now. I'm gonna purchase some fertilizer, some vitality. Oh, we got four vitalities in. Oh, I have exactly zero simoleons. <laughs> All right, so aubergine can go there. Lettuce can go there. Watermelon there. Pumpkins here. And finally, the mushrooms down there. We get all these planted. We are now level seven gardening, which is pretty exciting. We can now purchase uncommon seed packets. That is good. Let's water all. I don't know why my fridge is still open. Let me close that. And I can fertilize with vitality. 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 <laughs> Did I say that enough times? All right, cow, you kind of look like you're dirty. I feel like you're not, but I'm going to clean you anyway. Can you be milked anymore? Are you good? Oh, you can't be milked. Okay, I'll milk you. We've already got six bottles of milk here. And I'm gonna collect some more eggs. We have a golden egg in the fridge. We've got four other eggs and that egg there. All right, let's go sell the produce. All righty, let's go haggle a little bit too. Cause of course I want to make you buy them for more. I mean, I'm giving you my oversized aubergine. 13 kilos. You better, you better pay for it. <laughs> I work hard on it. All right, so we've got the blueberries, which I don't know why I'm selling those. And the milk bottles, pretty good. Chocolatey treat, we'll keep that. Cowberry jam, we'll keep that as well. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to be making treats. Sell all me eggs, my golden eggs. Oh, the golden eggs are so good too. The watermelons at 186 a pop. Minor growth, I'll keep that. Oversized aubergine, 354. Oh my gosh, the lettuce is even better. Wait, maybe we should keep the lettuce then if it's worth that much. Hang on, maybe we should keep that for the, the fair. Sell the random raspberry I have. Small mushrooms, small pumpkins, they didn't do so well. Spicy mushroom, sure, I'll sell that one I have. $2,000. Oh wait, this is still, it's only three kilos though. I don't know if it's purely size at the fair. I feel like it's probably going on value, to be honest. Knowing Sims, they usually go by value rather than like a weight or something. So I will keep that one and I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna put it in my fridge and take it to the fair on the weekend. But of course, before we do that, I'm gonna put that in the fridge. Make sure, it, let me just make sure it's actually gonna last. Oversized lettuce is going to last 15 days. We are now gonna purchase a llama. A beige llama or a white llama? I don't, I guess there's not much difference. So I'll just get the white llama. Yeah, <laughs> doodle 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 We have a llama, sweet. Okay, name llama is gonna be called Lenny. Lenny the Llama. Uh, and with that, we're gonna feed Lenny, but we're gonna leave this part here because this has been a long part. We did a lot of renovation and build changes and Bowser, <laughs> Bowser is coming as you can see. Here he is, he's ready to go out. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next time taking care of Lenny the Llama. We're gonna be shearing him for wool. Yes, that's right, Bowser. We can use your wool too if you want it. Yeah, until then, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.